The Justice Department now moving to sue to block JetBlue's merger with Spirit Airlines. <clears throat> A perfect opportunity to right now bring in the Secretary of Transportation, Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Buttigieg. Secretary, thank you so much for being here. Um, first and foremost, do you think that this merger should be blocked as, as the Department of Justice is now moving to do? We support the Department of Justice in their action, and we're taking action of our own using the authorities that we have. Uh, our department, the Department of Transportation, has generally not gotten involved in these merger cases, uh, but that's changing today. It, it is so important to make sure that passengers have choices, uh, that they have access to low fares, that they have access to competition, and yet we've seen less and less and less of that competition over the years. Back when uh, airline deregulation played out over the 70s and 80s, at the time, uh, there were predictions that by the time you got to the 21st century, there would be at least 100 competitive airlines uh, operating in our skies. Obviously, what we see right now is something very different. Each passing year, it feels like there are fewer choices, and passenger choice is a vital part of what sustains good price competition and better customer service. Uh, so is, we are taking a, a step that, again, uh, ha is unusual in terms of recent years, but we think is the right thing to do, supporting the DOJ's lawsuit and uh, independently using our own authorities, which are a little bit different from the DOJ, uh, starting our own investigation and taking other actions. I, I want to ask you about this because this is an important this is an important moment and this is big news because from the DOJ's part, this is from our reporting the first time in more than 20 years that the government has sought to block a U.S. airline merger. Because as you as you noted, it is unusual. What action is the Department of Transportation going to be taking that you're announcing today? Uh, so we have our own authorities uh, in terms of uh, seeing if these kinds of actions meet the uh, public interest. Uh, we are required to uh, certify or approve certain processes that have been filed with us. Uh, now, of course, uh, there is now this active lawsuit uh, that the DOJ is pursuing, and that needs to be uh, adjudicated from a competition perspective. Uh, but we're not waiting on, on that verdict to do groundwork of our own, investigating some of these concerns that, that have arisen about the effect that uh, a proposed merger would have on passengers. So we're doing two things at once. Uh, we are supporting DOJ's action uh, to sue to block this on competition grounds and initiating our own actions on public interest grounds. Uh, look, we all know that passengers have been through a lot, that the airline passenger experience has been a frustrating one for millions. I've been pushing airlines on everything from family seating fees, which we uh, are uh, announcing a, a dashboard on this week. And uh, we've got uh, at least three airlines signed up for free fee-free seating, but we're trying to get all of them to do it and moving to require that. Uh, but that's just one example of some of the frustrations people have had. This is a time to make sure there is more competition, not less competition, uh, when it comes to airlines so that we can have lower fares, better service, and a functioning market. Uh, because the private sector only works when you have robust competition, yet uh, uh, as, as we've seen over the years, merger after merger, we have fewer and fewer airlines to choose from. And on certain routes, sometimes only one major airline or two, uh, sometimes even the two airlines that are proposing to merge right now. And this is a very big deal because I, I, I don't have my history book um, on airline mergers and directly in front of me, Secretary. But this does sound like an action that you're moving your, depart you're moving your department to do something that you really have not done before. This is a shift for our department. We've had a lot of authorities uh, when it comes to competition, but uh, uh, frankly, uh, over recent years, the Department of Transportation hasn't used those authorities very much. I think that needs to change. This is a season when we need to be doing everything that we can to support competition, create choice, and be there for passengers. And uh, that, plus the, the administration and the president's focus on competition, are part of why we are going in a new direction, uh, using authorities that have always been there, uh, tools that have always been in the toolkit, but frankly, have not always been picked up and used here at the DOT. Let me ask you, you mentioned the um, family, the dashboard to help families um, th that has been rolled out by the department that, to help families see at a glance which airlines will help families sit together um, at no extra cost. I was looking at the dashboard. The dashboard says the word guaranteed, but it also says that the guarantee is subject to several conditions. And when you go through it, there are a lot of conditions, and I'm going to call them 
caveats they feel like, Secretary, like only if seats are available. What if there's a small, if they downsize the air, the, the airplane, which happens often, um, then if seats aren't available, they can't do it. So isn't that guarantee confusing? Well, uh, there are always some of these cases on the margins, and there's always going to be fine print, but we're trying to make things less confusing because up until now, there was no guarantee at all, uh, no way that we could enforce an agreement with the airlines uh, that, at least in most cases, uh, when you have a 13 or under child with you, uh, you wouldn't have to either pay extra or have to plead and bargain with the gate agent or even have to uh, uh, haggle and, and, and uh, work something out with fellow passengers. I think it's common sense that airlines ought to make it easy and free to fly with your kids. It's something that parents expect when, when they travel. Uh, so I'm encouraged that these three airlines have agreed to these enforceable commitments. And by the way, uh, one of the reasons why it's carefully documented is they are enforceable. Uh, if an airline violates that agreement, uh, they could be fined by our department for up to tens of thousands of dollars per violation. Uh, but let me also say we're not just waiting for what the airlines will do voluntarily. But we're simultaneously working on regulation to require this. There are a lot of loopholes. Well, look, we want to make sure. We want to make sure it's reasonable in some uh, uh, fringe case where, for example, uh, the, air, the, the airplane has to physically change to a smaller case. But even then, there are provisions for how to make sure a family has choices and is taken care of. Bottom line is that this is a dramatic shift from what was guaranteed in the past. And we will be watching and we will be enforcing to make sure airlines meet those conditions, even while we're simultaneously taking steps uh, to use regulation to require it. One of the things that we found, especially as we got all of those guarantees that didn't not exist before last summer on things like uh, uh, passenger uh, care in, in delay situations, mm -hmm. rental cars, meals, vouchers for hotels, uh, is that uh, th those had not been guaranteed before in writing. We got that uh, secured. What we found is that was something we could get done very, very quickly compared to all of the machinery and the legalities of doing a regulation. So this time we're doing both at the same time. We're taking the steps to create the regulation, but we don't want to have to wait on that to get as much consumer benefit as we can today. Uh, and we're calling on all the other airlines to join these three that have already stepped forward. Secretary Buttigieg, thank you so much for jumping on. Quite a, uh, we already had the interview booked, but quite a fortunate moment as we then heard from the Attorney General announcing this, this action. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.